Hello YouTube. Uh, in this uh, couple of uh, videos, I decided to uh, give you guys a short one-on-one basic tutorials on Maxwell. Uh, since I s find it necessary, um, and it's good uh, practice for many of you that are using are new to the Ansoft Maxwell, and uh, there's always new things uh, that you can learn uh, from the basic tutorials. Uh, on Maxwell. You uh, probably saw a couple of previous tutorials of mine uh, which were which were basically into details and in application uh, based uh, simulation uh, but there's always might be some questions in your head that why I uh, went with that progress or what is uh, the part that I'm doing and you just like uh, copy and pasting what I was like suggesting to do without knowing why I'm doing uh, some of the progress and some of the procedures. So in this video I'm trying to uh, give you a very quick basic tutorials about the uh, Maxwell environment, the desktop, and um, after that I'm going to talk about the shortcuts and how you can import and export from Maxwell. Um, and some very handy tools uh, in the next video. So let's just start with the Maxwell uh, in this part. So uh, if, if we have the Maxwell in front of us, the first thing that you should know is Maxwell basically divided uh, the desktop environment into uh, five, uh, basically seven, uh, seven more imp most important parts. Uh, you have in the middle, uh, as you can see in this gray area, you have 3D modeler window. Uh, here is blank. The reason is because there's no model in, in this window right now. Um, but when you uh, open a new model, it becomes uh, a blank area with a 3D axis. Over uh, left, we have here the project manager window, as you can see on the top. And on the bottom, we have property map window. In the property window, you can change the property of objects, of simulations, of variables of your project, and uh, basically the project of the property of any uh, possible objects that you can have in this simulation. Uh, you can change it here, or you can just double click on the highlighted object and this property window will you will see that in a in a popped out version uh, which is larger and you can easily manipulate the values the project manager on the other hand um, can find all your um, models uh, the projects the variables um, the results and also your analysis so all of uh, those things you can find them here in the project manager. On the very bottom left, you have a message, um, message manager. In the message uh, manager, you, you can see all the new messages that you have to know about your simulation and about the status of uh, the model that you have. If there is any problem, you can find it over here. And on the right, you have the progress manager or the progress window. In the progress window, you can see what is the current situation or status of one simulation. Or if you have a parametric sweep, you can see for each simulation and the overall sweep. Right, right here, over here. On the very bottom, you have the status bar, which basically talks about the status of the overall system. Uh, here you can see the word ready when you're saving it it says it's saving and you can understand till when it starts sa saving it uh, when it's copying some uh, simulated files or trying to do some uh, show some results you can actually see that the status bar changes accordingly to tell you that it's fetching the data or like saving the data and uh, based on that you would uh, make sure that you are not turning uh, the computer off or you are not closing the software because you would lose all of your simulation data. And that basically concludes the basic uh, windows that you can find here. 
we on top of the windows we have two bars here in the hands of Maxwell one is called the menu bar on the very top where you can find the menus the very standard menus that you can find in Windows environment such as files edit view project tools window and help of course project is something that is more um, uh, dedicated to this kind of simulator but more or less you can find the similar familiar uh, menu on the top on the bottom you have uh, toolbars which will be changed according to the design that you are going to add uh, so right now we have a very simplified version of a toolbar which holds the standard windows bottom here like uh, undo and uh, delete paste copy print which I don't think anyone uses print here uh, save and open a new um, once uh, you get used to these menus you can either use this menus uh, or you can use the shortcuts that I will provide in the next video so to start that you have to start inserting some model um, you have a couple of models that you can insert in the Maxwell and uh, one of the difference between Maxwell and Bishop Assess is in the Maxwell um, the Ansoft is trying to give you some um, environment that you can easily uh, do simulations on electromagnet, electrostatic um, uh, or magnet to DC uh, kind of a simulations if you have a motor or if you have a transformer if you have uh, linear motors and uh, things like this and for that and they want to make sure that you're not going through a lot of design and structure designs you can basically uh, insert the uh, the according uh, design and if you tell that I'm working in this environment uh, the Maxwell will basically adopt itself and make things easier for you uh, using the predefined structures and the predefined analysis um, and that's that's the basic idea about Maxwell it's more uh, into this particular applications uh, that's the difference between Maxwell and HFSS. However, in the HFSS, we are just having electromagnetic uh, simulations. Uh, more or less, if you are asking my honest opinion, more or less in very high frequencies. As it states, it's high uh, frequency structure uh, simulator. And uh, I think the HFSS is more for high frequencies, and Maxwell is for more for the lower frequencies where these kind of applications are. Either. Okay, that concludes very basic points about Maxwell and the Maxwell PC desktop environment. Uh, the next section we are going to talk about the tools that we have in Maxwell when we have a 3D design.